on the um, family and friends and subscribers and viewers. Um, welcome to Simple Cooking with Eric. And um, on today, I'm going to show you how to make your own cake flour. Uh, people know that cake flour can be very expensive. So I had a, I got an order for a, a cream cheese pound cake, but realized that I do, do not have any cake flour. So I'm going to show you all how to make cake flour. Um, as you all know, Swan Don makes the uh, cake flour that is a very expensive, it's like $2.99 a box, and that's at Walmart. But you also can get it at any other uh, grocery store, but it's very expensive, it's at least $3 or more per box. So I don't have any, so I'm going to show you all how to make it. And let me just send a couple of shout outs real quick. I thank everyone for uh, tuning in and I thank you all for subscribing and viewing. I really need you guys to subscribe though. Subscribe. Uh, I put on Facebook about the Thanksgiving uh, event that I'm going to uh, sponsor the uh, movement. Feed five families up to 20 person per family, cater their Thanksgiving dinner with all of the trimming. So I need your help, Facebook. I need your help, YouTube, to help me make this movement uh, go for. I'm not asking for donations or anything. I'm going to personally cater with some volunteer cater their Thanksgiving dinner. So that's 100 people that we have to cater for. For Thanksgiving, and I'm not talking, we're not going to shortchange on anything. We're talking about all with all the bells and whistles, all the churnies and dessert. But anyway, let's get back to this um cake flour. And let me say this too, we send a shout out. A couple of people had commented and asked me about, you know, was I in what type of kitchen I was in. I am in my home kitchen. It's nothing fancy. Uh, when I moved into this house, it was plain. And with a couple of hundred bucks, I just, uh, Fixed it to my life. It's small for me, but it worked. Um, uh, one of my church members named Tony Guerrero uh, made me this island. And um, as you all can see, maybe you all can't see. Maybe, um, you know what? Excuse me, you all. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. But let me show you this island that Tony made. Now I got to figure out how to work the camera. You know what? You all be patient with me because I do not know what I am doing. Um, and once again, cannot see anything. Uh, but anyway, like I was saying, Tony, uh, one of my church members made this island for me. And, um, you know, I'm very appreciative. And I want to kind of show it to you all if I can figure out how to work the camera. But, oh, okay. Maybe not so. Hold on. Back now, you listen. Uh, we might not. I'm not going. You know, I'm. I'm not going to start out editing anything. I don't know how to edit. I got a friend of mine that's helping me edit. But you know, come on, let's just keep it real. I'm at home. And I just want. But I just want to show you all this island that Tony made. I mean, it's nothing fancy, but he made it. He, you know, I told him I wanted an island. I couldn't afford one, so he made this island. I'm too close up. You know, in here, and um, also. He was the one that did this this rack for the utensil. So I thank Tony, but you know, nothing fancy, but this is where I live. So for those that didn't believe that it was a real kitchen, it is a real kitchen. It's nothing fancy. Like I told you all, the stove, the oven does not work. I locked it, cleaning it, and I think I burnt the fuse out. So I'm gonna send another shout out, Bubba, Bubba Schamberger. Or Yadel Schomburger, I need you to come and fix my oven. How can I have a trying to start a cooking show or a channel with no oven? I'm using my tabletop convection oven. So, Bubba, this is a shout out for you. I'm going to make sure that you listen. I need my oven fixed. Stay. But back to uh, the cake flour. So, what, what you're going to need to make this cake flour? I'm just going to hold the camera. You're going to need cornstarch. This is a generic brand of cornstarch. I got it from Aldi's. Like I say all the time, simple. You don't have to make it complicated, and it does not have to be expensive. 
And you're going to need some all-purpose flour. Your Grape Value brand is purpose. You know, perfect. I mean, you know, you don't have to get Pillsbury. And I always buy 25 pounds. And I get this at Walmart for like six bucks. Six, like six, I think it was like six eighty-eight. But I buy all, I buy two or three of them at a time. And so when you don't have cake flour, hey, I'm gonna show you how to make it. So I got my grape value all-purpose flour. You're gonna need a sifter. And I just brought two out to show you the difference. A tablespoon and a measuring cup, a one cup measuring cup, two bowls. And I always get a spatula just to level off the um the to level it off. So now let's get started. So what I'm going to take, so the how to make cake flour. You will take one cup one cup of all-purpose flour and then what you would do to make your cake flour you will subtract you will subtract two tablespoons of the regular flour one two but you're going to and after that then you will add two tablespoons of cornstarch and then I, I usually have a whiskey and I would just mix it up whiskey usually I don't put the whiskey next to me And then, now, I have two different sifters. These sifter, this sifter is double. You know, it, it goes to a double, um, if you can see, a double uh, sifter. It, it's a double sifter. So that means you are sifting it twice once it goes through here. But I don't like using it because it takes too much time. And I'd rather... Uh, so all you do is put your flour mixture in your sifter and you sift it. And what you want to do, if I, if I was doing this debate, just to show you, I would have done this five times. I would actually sift it, re-put it in, sift it again. I would continue to do this five times. And there you have cake flour. And what you can do, people, what you can do is that you can also, you can also um, just get your, uh, maybe do five pounds of flour at a time and uh, measure it out. And for each cup of flour, subtract two tablespoons and add two tablespoons of cornstarch. So again, to make cake flour, one cup of flour, you subtract two tablespoons from that one cup of flour, but then you add two tablespoons of cornstarch. Whisk it together, then sift it. I sift it five times, just keep sifting it. And I use this one, like I said, an easy one because it's quicker and it's faster. And that's how you make cake flour. And I guarantee you that it gives you the same results as swan down uh, soft silk and you know they don't make a generic cake flour on the market you might have to buy you might get buy it at a, a bakery supply store or a restaurant store and buy commercial cake flour where you buy it in a uh, 
a big, maybe a 25 pound bag or a 10 pound bag. But for in a regular grocery store, the big grocery store chain, you do not, they do not sell uh, generic cake flour. So cake flour is, is expensive. So for those home bakers and people that make those good pound cakes, or whatever, this is the way you make cake flour. Once again, remember, one cup of flour, subtract two tablespoons of flour from that one cup and add two tablespoons of cornstarch to that one cup. Thank you. Remember to like, share, and please subscribe. Again, like, share, and subscribe. And um, when you see this video on Facebook, remember the Thanksgiving movement. Five families will be selected by you, the viewers. Well, they will have their Thanksgiving dinner catered by me and some volunteers, and we're going to make their entire meal with the chairman. And we're going to make it like we will cook it. So we ain't going to be nothing thrown together or no box mix or no processed stuff. We're going to start from scratch, so we need your support. I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers by November. Uh, and I think I can do it with your help. Love, peace. I love you all. It, it, it's... It's starting to get more exciting doing this show. I, I got a call. I'm going to tell this right quick. I got a call from uh, a lot of my family and friends encouraging me and telling me, hey, Eric, you should have been done. It. But they're going to critique it, though, right? So I got one call, and somebody told me, why don't you use wooden spoon? Because all that banging on that uh, uh, cabbage pot, you know, it's a lot of banging on that cabbage pot. It was so loud. And I thought about it because they, they're not the only person that said that. I had a friend... Uh, Maxine, that live in Jacksonville, Florida, she called me yesterday, and she told me the same thing. She said, the only criticism I have is that pop, ding, 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 you know, loud. So I'm going to try to be more conscious of uh, using the pot. I never uh, brought witness for I never uh, like to use them, but maybe that's something I need to start. Uh, investing in a set of wooden spoons, but some good wooden spoons and start using them, especially if I plan on continuing to do this channel, blog, or whatever they call it. Uh, the other criticism I got is that, um, no, I didn't get no, you know, I got another one from another, a boss, um, a former boss of mine called, and, um, you know, this is one of the persons that, you know, really, the, the career path I took, you know, everybody thought that I was going to be a chef. But like I said, you know, I, you know, cooking is my passion, but I needed to pay the bills. So I got in the field of working with uh, developmental disabled adults. And I started out as like just a caretaker, which is called a DSP. And I started out as a DSP, so a regular entry level worker. Going where you have to clean and bathe and do activities with them. The company I worked for opened up their first cellar home. That was back in 1999. They opened up their first cellar home. And um, I guess my work ethic was so good that I was chosen to be the first house manager for their very first cellar home. They had this boss. And I'm going to say her name, Patricia McClure. She's married now. Her name is Patricia Chessier, but... She was the big boss, and you know, I was running the cellar home, but I mean, apparently I wasn't doing it right. So they brought some of the, the big, big, big honcho, they brought her in to fire me. She came in and me and her clicked, and I guess it was just my, my personality and my honesty, and I was willing to learn. And that lady showed me so much about that field that it encouraged me to go to school and to get my degree to work in that field. And I had some other people along the way, way but that was a, a, another passion that I discovered of mine to work in that field with developmentally disabled adults. And so Patricia called me, and anybody know Patricia Chessier, McClure, Dr. Patricia Chessier, whatever, she's an author, and she's going to come over to the, cook, the kitchen in the future. And we're going to do, she wrote a book on Alzheimer's, and you know, I'll talk a little bit about that later when she comes. She's going to come sometime in August, and we're going to do some dishes, healthy dishes that uh, have been proven to help with slowing down the process of, of Alzheimer's. 
So she's going to come over and help me do that. And we're going to cook it together because she's such a particular. So she called me with the detail. Every video that I have put up so far, she went into full detail about what I said and what I did. And I mean, very detailed stuff. But that's her. Patricia is very detailed. But to make a long story short, so she was like, Eric, just continue to be who you are. She said, because it's intriguing. And people will watch it, and the more people are here about you, they will watch She said, because I know you, and I know that that is you. Talking all the time, telling too much information, that is you. You are talking, talking, talking. And I just put be a video on cake flour, and I was going into some personal. But this is just me. This, this is what I do in the kitchen. I talk and entertain and, and enjoy life. And um, But she was just told me she was very encouraged. It was very good to hear from her. Yeah, a lot of positive feedback. A lot of people in my life that are encouraging and supporting my church family. They're sharing it and supporting it. And I just thank you. I'm going to send a shout out to the church family. Uh, New Sea Source, Tree of Life. New Sea Source and Tree of Life. And y'all pray for me. Pray for our ministry. And we try to do some things. But again, thanks for watching. Remember, per one cup of all-purpose flour, Subtract two tablespoons and add two tablespoons of cornstarch. Sell five times. Love you. Peace out. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye.